my English projects, our bedtime stories, the smallest elephant by wait a minute, Margaret Keating from book stories from everywhere. The smallest elephant. Everyone at the zoo in Brookfield was excited. A little elephant was to come to the zoo that day. She was just 12 months, 12 months old. She was only 3 feet high and she would be the smallest elephant in the country. The name of the little elephant, elephant was Baby Brookfield. She had been born in a country far across the ocean. She had come across the ocean in a big airplane. She would ride the rest of the way in one of the zoo trucks. The airplane came down in the airport. The man from the zoo looked up and saw baby looking out of a window. She can walk down, said one man. We will have to swing her down. People at the airport watched the man swing the tiny elephant to the ground. Then they saw the man put her into a truck and start for the zoo at Brookfield. At the zoo, baby got out of the truck and looked around. She whipped her little trunk. Maybe she was trying to say, this looks like a beautiful place to live. Baby and her keeper started walking to the elephant house. They had to go past the cages where the monkeys lived. When the monkeys saw the elephant, they were very excited. They all began to chatter. What a noise they made. Baby never before had seen monkeys or heard their chattering. She did not know what to think of them. She was afraid to go past the big the cages. Don't be afraid, baby, Mr. Graham said. Those monkeys cannot hurt you. They can even get out of their cages. But baby would not go past those cages. Mr. Graham told the keeper to turn around. The keeper took baby down a different road to the elephant house. Soon, baby and the keeper came to the yard where the elephant house was. Six big elephants were there. When they saw baby, they were excited. They put out their trunks and tried to reach her. Some visitor at the zoo saw how the big elephant acted. You won't put the tiny elephant with the big animal, will you? Asked Yvonne, who was visiting the zoo. Look at their big feet. They will be sure to hurt the little elephant. And see them wave their big trunks, said another visitor. Won't they hurt the little one with their big trunks? They are stamping because they are so excited, said the keeper. They won't hurt her. They are trying to reach baby because they like her. It's of those mother elephants wishes baby belonged to her. They think she is a beautiful little animal. Well, the poor little elephant will not get any of that hay, said Yvonne. Won't the big one push baby away when she tries to eat from those bills? No. They are polite animals, replied the keeper. They will be very kind and polite to baby. The big elephant will let her eat first. They will wait until she eats all she wants. Baby did not even look at the excited elephants. She held up her trunk and proudly walked past them. The visitors loved it to see her act if she were the only elephant at zoo. The keeper wanted to know how much baby waited. He waited until she had rested. 
Then he took her to a big scale. When baby walked on the floor of the scale, she could feel it move. She did not like that. She picked off the scale. The keeper tried and tried to weigh baby. At last, he cut a few carrots and held one in front of baby. She wanted the carrot, so she cut on the scale. While baby was eating the carrot, she forgot that she scale moved. Then the keeper was able to weigh her. She weighs 500 pounds, said the keeper. 500 is a good many pounds for a baby just 3 feet high. How many pounds will she weigh when she grows up? asked Yvonne. She may grow until she is 8 feet high, replied the keeper. When she gets to be 8 feet high, she will weigh 6,000 pounds. Oh, oh. 6,000 pounds, said Yvonne. It must take a lot of food for such a big animal. We give these elephants bales of hay, answered the keeper. Its big elephant eats two or three bales a day. They eat bread too. We also give them carrots and apples. The who tries to feed them well. The keeper took baby out to a park on the zoo grounds where some children were at a picnic. He let the elephant walk around so the children could pet her. A boy thought he would tease baby, so he rubbed his hand under her mouth. What a surprise he had! Tararana, tarara, said baby. The children were so surprised they hardly knew what to do. Some children started to run away. They thought baby was going to hurt them. The boy who had wanted to tease baby ran further than any of the other children. Don't run, children, said the keeper. Baby would not hurt you. When she made that noise, she was just being very polite. Baby wanted to say she thought it was fun to be rabbit like that. Then the keeper turned to the boy who had tried to tease baby. It was not wise to do that, he told the boy. You didn't know it would please the elephant. He thought you would tease her. If you had made baby cross, she might have hit you with her trunk. Her trunk is small but it is very strong. She might have knocked you down. Baby has been polite to everyone. So we should be kind and polite to her. We want all visitors at the zoo in Brookfield to be kind to the animals. People should be kind to all animals. I am very sorry. I tried to tease baby, said the boy. After this, I won't tease any animals. Just then baby reached out her trunk and took hold of the boy's arm. She began to move his arm further and further up. I guess she wants to be rubbed again, said the keeper. The boy rubbed his hand under baby's mouth again. Tarantarara, tarara, said baby. Okay, tell us the ones we knew about elephant. Number one. Big elephants will push a baby elephants away from food. Number two. They eat a lot, lots of fish. Number three, they eat hay, bread, and apples. Number four, a baby that is about three feet high weighs about 500 pounds. Number five, big elephants are about eight feet high and weigh thousands of pounds. Thank you.